Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation which is 4 to the power of x plus 16 to the power of x this is equal to 64 to the power of x so what is the value of x given that x is not equal to 0 so let's provide a solution from here now the first thing to do here we can express 4 to the power of x as 2 to the power of 2 then raised to the power of x then plus 16 to the power of x we can express this as 8 multiplied by 2 then raised to the power of x this is equal to 64 which we can express as 8 to the power of 2 then raised to the power of x now the next step is that 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x this is in the form of 8 to the power of n raised to the power of m which you can express as a to the power of m raised to the power of n. Now, this means that here we have 2 to the power of x, then raised to the power of 2. Now, plus 8 times 2 raised to the power of x, this is in the form of a multiplied by b raised to the power of n, which we can express as a to the power of n times b to the power of n. So applying this property, then here we have 8 to the power of x multiplied by 2 to the power of x. This is equal to, now, 8 to the power of 2 raised to the power of x is in the form of 8 to the power of n raised to the power of m, which you can express as 8 to the power of m raised to the power of n. So this means we have 8 to the power of x squared. Now, the next step from here, let's divide through by 2 to the power of x squared here we also divide by 2 to the power of x squared which is the same thing as 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of x divided we also divide 8 to the power of x squared with 2 to the power of x squared now from here we simplify 2 to the power of x squared so that now here we have 1 plus 2 to the power of x here simplifies so that we have 8 to the power of x divided by 2 to the power of x. This is equal to, now we have 8 to the power of x raised to the power of 2 divided by 2 to the power of x raised to the power of 2. Now we have that 8 to the power of x divided by 2 to the power of x as well as 8 to the power of x squared on 2 to the power of x raised to the power of 2. This is in the form of a to the power of n divided by b to the power of n, which we can express as a over b raised to the power of n. So that now, here we have 1 plus 8 over 2 raised to the power of x. This is equal to, now here we have 8 to the power of x divided by 2 to the power of x, everything here, raised to the power of 2. We can apply to still this property so that now here we have 1 plus 8 divided by 2. This is 4 to the power of x. Then this is equal to, now we can express this as 8 over 2 raised to the power of x. Then everything here raised to the power of 2. Okay, so we have here 1 plus 4 to the power of x. This is equal to 8 divided by 2. This is 4. So we have 4 to the power of x. Everything here raised to the power of 2. We have that 4 to the power of x is common here. So we can let 4 to the power of x be equal to u. Now since we have 4 to the power of x equal to u, we can substitute u so that we have 1 plus u. This is equal to u squared. So let's take 1 plus u on the right hand side. So this means we have u squared minus u minus 1. This is equal to 0. Now, this is the quadratic equation of the form au squared plus bu plus c. This is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation, we have that a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 1 and that c is also equal to minus 1 
so we can solve for u1 comma u2 by applying the quadratic formula which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac everything here divided by 2 times a so let's substitute the values of a b and c so that now here we have minus minus 1 plus or minus now we have the square root of b squared this is minus 1 squared subtract 4 times we have that a is equal to 1 then c is minus 1 everything here divided by 2 times 1 therefore here we have minus times minus 1 this is 1 then plus or minus the square root of minus 1 square and this is 1 minus 4 times minus 1 this is plus 4 everything here divided by 2 now we have here this is 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 4 which is 5 everything here divided by 2 so this implies that we have that u1 is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and that u2 is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2. If you recall, if you recall, we are saying that let 4 to the power of x be equal to u. So let's substitute this. Substituting 4 to the power of x, then we have 4 to the power of x. This is equal to, we have 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 on one side. The other side we have 4 to the power of x. This is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. Now, the next step from here, we have that 4 is to the power of x. This is actually greater than 0. And 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2, this is also greater than 0. So this means that we can proceed to solve for the value of x from here. But on the second part here, 4 to the power of x is greater than 0. But 1 minus square root of 5 over 2, this is less than 0. So this means that we cannot be able to solve for the value of x. Because here we will have undefined results. Now, let's proceed with 4 to the power of x. This is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. To solve for the value of x here, we introduce logarithm on both sides so that we have rog 4 to the power of x. This is equal to rog 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. Now, rog 4 to the power of x this is in the form of rog a to the power of n, which we can express as n rog a. Applying this power rule property of logarithm, then rog 4 to the power of x becomes x rog 4. This is equal to rog. This is 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. The next step is that we can divide both signs by rog 4 and also here by rog 4. Now let's simplify rog 4 and rog 4 here so that now x is equal to here we have rog this is 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 everything here divided by rog 4. Remember we can express 4 as 2 to the power of 2. So this means that here we can express this as rog 2 to the power of 2. So applying the power rule property here, then we have that x is equal to rog. This is 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 divided by, now this is 2 rog 2. Now the next step is that rog 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. This is in the form of rog a divided by b. And this can be expressed as rog a subtract rog b. Now, applying this property, then we have x is equal to 
wrong. This is 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 rock 2. Subtract rock 2 divided by 2 rock 2. So let's simplify rock 2 and rock 2 here so that now x becomes rock. This is 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 rock 2 subtract half. Okay, so we have that x is equal to now this is the same thing as rock 1 plus square root of 5. This is the same thing as rock 3.23607 divided by 2 multiplied by rock 2 which is actually 0 0 0.3010 minus a half which is 0 0.5. Now here we have x is equal to rock 3.23607 this is 0 0.5100 divided by 2 times 0 0.3010 this is the same thing as 0 0.602 subtract 0 0.5 and actually this is equal to x is equal to now if you divide here this is 0 0.8472 subtract 0 0.5 this means that the value of x here is equal to 0. 3, 4, 7, 2. So this is the value of x. The next step from here is to verify that this value of x satisfies the equation as follows. Now let's verify that the value of x here, which is 0 0.3472, satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, we end at 4 to the power of x plus 16 to the power of x. This is supposed to give us a value of 64 to the power of x. Let's substitute x so that we have 4 to the power of 0 0.3472 plus 16 to the power of 0 0.3472. This is equal to 64 to the power of 0 0.3472. Now, 4 raised to the power of 0 0.3472. This is the same thing as 1.3472. 10 plus 16 to the power of 0 0.3472. This is the same thing as 2.61861. This is supposed to give us a value of 64 raised to the power of 0 0.3472, which is 4.2375. This is the approximate value. Now 1.6182 plus 2.61861. This is 4.23. Uh, 6, 8, which is equal to 4.2375. So we can just round off to two decimal places so that here we have 4.24. This is equal to 4.24. And this means that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this proves that the value of x here, which is equal to 0. 3472 satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and kindly subscribe. Please subscribe. See you in the next video.